Good evening and welcome. We're gathered here tonight in the house of Sean and Eileen Vaughan here in Renery, and we have put before you a good evening entertainment, we hope. And we have fine musicians, singers and dancers, and I hope you'll stay with us for the next while while we entertain you. Now to put the ball rolling, we have two fine accordionists here, Tim and Max Wheelie from Bellavona and Tim Jorrell from Clown Drive, and they'll give you a selection of polkas. Thanks very much, Jeremy and Tim Joe. And now John Connell will give you a song. How pleasant to roam by the sunny shore stream Or to hear the birds coo in the morning sunbeam Where the thrush and the robin their sweet notes entwine on the banks of the shore that flows down by moonkind flow on lovely river flow gently along by your water so pure sings the lark's merry song by your green banks i wonder where first i did stray with you lovely molly the rose of moonkind she sailed far away o'er the dark rolling foam, far away from the hills of her own native home, where the fishermen sport with their small boats in line on the banks of the shore that flows down by moonkind. Flow on lovely river, flow gently along, by your water so pure sings the lark's merry song by your green banks i wonder where first i did stray with you lovely molly the rose of mankind oh molly dear molly it breaks my fond heart to know that forever us true lovers part but I think of you, Molly, when the sun and moon shine on the banks of the shore that flows down by moonkind. 
Flow on lovely river, flow gently along, by your water so pure, sing the lark's merry song. By your green banks I wander, where first I stray, with you, lovely Molly, the rose of mankind. <laughs> Now we have a very special item for you. We have a dance which is known around here as the Hingan from home. Now it's a dance that certainly I never saw before I came around this part of the country. And that um, I don't think it's unique to this part, but certainly it is known all over. Now we have three couples on the floor to dance it for you. They are Mary and Sheila Free, Sean Vaughan and Mary McCarthy, and John Hall and John Connor. Take it away now, lads and ladies. <laughs> Thanks very much. And now we'll have John Hall on the fiddle to play a slow air and a selection of reels.
Thank you, John. And now we'll have Christy Lee for a song. The cold winds from the mountains are calling soft to me. The smell of scented heather brings bitter memories. The wild and lonely in the summer sky flies high or shine golden where my young will lies do you remember darling we walk the moonlit roads I have I'd never let you go our hands they were entwined, my love, all in the pale moonlight, by the fields of Shan Golden, and a lonely winter's night. And came a call to Autumn's love, and the hills they were aflame, down from the side and mountain. The Saxon strangers came. I held you in my arms, my young heart wild with fear. By the fields of Shan the Golden, in the springtime of the year, you fought them, darling Willie, all through the summer days. I hear the rifles firing in the mountain far away. I held you in my arms, your blood ran clear and bright, and you died by Shan Golden on a lonely summer's night. Well, that was long ago, my love, and your sons grew fine and tall. The peas, they are at peace again, the Saxon strangers gone. There's roses on your grave, my love, there's an eagle in the sky, flying high or shan the golden, where my young will lies. Thank you, Christy. I know we'll have a stack of early. Thank you. 
Next in the agenda, we'll have a few songs from Peggy Connell and Tracy McSweeney. I 
circles Though feeble, old and grey You will ever miss a mother's love Till she's buried beneath the clay
Wouldn't expect him to much of the wooden bed anyway. Those two women just sang his few strong voices. No. But now we have a very special item for you. While ago we had John Hoare playing the fiddle, now we won better. We have John Hoare playing the fiddle, and with him we have his daughter Mary playing the tin whistle.
thanks Mary and John, that was beautiful. And now we'll have a song from Jean McCarthy. Good Jean. Many fashions have come out of late. Now one comes every season. One came out the other night. Sure, I can't tell the reason. Now one came out the other night. The night was sad and lonely. And I went and I bought the swallowtail coat. And I called it my taggery only. Oh, sing Rex for lal for lal for lal. Sing Rex for lal for lonely. Sing Rex for lal for lal for lal. And that was the taggery only. As I was walking down the street, I met a sad disaster. I bought a pair of skating boots and became a skating master. Now the night was cold and freezing hard. The lake was frozen over and the ice had bent and down I went and I wet my taggery on me. Oh, sing Rex for lal for lal for lal, sing Rex for lal for lal, sing Rex for lal for lal for lal, and the lad was a taggery on me. A lady who was standing by, on me she took compassion. She said, young man, come into the fire, if you want to dry your fashion. I took consent and in I went. The fire was burning slowly. Ah, she cried, young man, stand back from the fire and on button your taggery on me. Oh, sing Rex for lal for lal for lal, sing Rex for lal for lal, sing Rex for lal for lal for lal, and the lad with a taggery on me. The night got fine, the moon shone bright, the maid and I went roving, and just outside our father's gate, we heard two donkeys roaring. Her father had a little dog, they used to call him Tony, and every time I kissed the maid, he bit my taggery on me. <laughs> oh, sing Rex for lal for lal for lal, sing Rex for lal for lal, sing Rex for lal for lal for lal, I'm the lad with a taggery on me. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. And now we'll have a selection of music from Tim Jory Adam. Thank <laughs> you. 
and now we're taking a break for tea and as you see I got a job too and I think we have to thank the people at the house for being very kind to us and they're serving all our needs and they're making sure that everyone has enough. Here with me now, I have Connie O'Connell. Connie obviously is known locally. And Connie is a man who collects and studies local history as a hobby. Now, um, one of his great interests is place names. And around here, not only are the villages named or the town lands, but nearly every bend in the road and every rock and every stream has a name of its own. And there isn't one of them, but Connie could tell you a story about it. And he's going to tell us one of those stories now tonight. Connie, what name are you going to explain to us tonight? I'm going to explain to you about the Bunfield and Rubber and Isaac Kirke. And where is that now, Connie? Isaac Kirke, or Isaac and Cat Barn, as was known in the olden times, is situated about 250 yards from Bielagrana and the, Kilar and the Kilgarvan Road. And how did I get his name? Well, I will give that later on, but I would like to give the geography first, as it's very interesting, of this river known as the Bun Seal, right because right. it has a connection with three parishes. Right, can you explain how, how, how the geography of the river? This Bun Seal River is only a little stream starting. It rises in the parish of Ballyburna and flows downstream about a half a mile and the boundary between the parishes of Eve Leary and Keel de Martre. It flows further downstream for about two and a half miles and joins the Lee at Ballingary village. Along that stream there's a high cascade no, or it's about 14 feet high and there was a battle staged here for the fight boys around the start of the 18th century, roughly about 1810, as far as we can trace. The fight boys was the men who fought for Ireland at the time. And it seems that the British forces <coughs> were in a route from Ballingary to Ballyvoon. But the fight boys invaded them or ambushed them at this place, which is commonly known as 
is Sach and Cat Ball. The leader of the British forces on that day was a man by the name of Brickel or Bochler. A name I can't explain very well in English because it's kind of English before the light. But he had a, this horse, a very famous war horse. He could jump, he could run, or, and he was also a great battle horse. And he was known as the Cat Ball. On the day of this invasion, it seemed that the British couldn't win because the Irish forces were numbered at about five to one. But this General Brickelho Bochler was a man of great courage and a great soldier, and he couldn't expect or look for defeat. So he called his boys and he said, come boys, we're not yet defeated. The cat barn never failed, and he won't fail today. He raced about 16 or 17 yards in towards <coughs> this waterfall. And it being 14 feet high, it would be almost possible that any horse could scale it. But he thought with the speed that he could induce the horse to scale this cascade. Incidentally, what happened was that a horse hit the rock with his foremost legs and fell back head over tail into a very rough terrain. The jockey, which as I have already mentioned, as Bikolo Bokola, came underneath the horse. Therefore the horse broke his neck and he also killed the rider. That meant a win for the Irish forces at what was known then as Isach on Carbon on that day. And uh, can you, you stress there how um, Brickler Bokler tried to make his horse jump over the rock? Now, what advantage would it have been for him if the horse had gone over the rock? Well, if the horse had gone over the rock, he would be over the fight boys. And he was well armed with powder, with guns and powder. As you may be aware, as you may, ha as you may have heard, the fight boys had nothing except a few swords, crappy pikes, knives and some of them had only holly sticks well if he got the guns if he got his gun on the soldier uh, on the white boys he'd have no bother in clearing a track for the remainder of his comrades and they could continue on their journey you spoke there about the white boys what kind of a role did they play in Irish history the white boys was a secret organization they were bound by oath and their main business was to look after evictions which was carried out uh, on tenants for not paying their rack rents and also for not paying their land annuities, which of course was at a very high stage at the time. Oh, rack rents, honey, could you explain them to us? Rack rents, well, rack rents is a very Englishy language to be beyond me, but I must borrow a word from the Irish language to explain it, to be otherwise known as Dahu, which would be a tenth. That meant that every farmer, big and small, should give a tenth of his income for the upkeep of the Protestant minister. And indeed, that was fairly hard at the time because money was scarce, as well as the landlord's rent to pay the rack rents. Thank you very much, Connie. That was very interesting. And give Connie a big clap now. <laughs> oh, there you are. Very good. Very good. Right, now that interesting information from Connie R, we're back to the dancing again with a jig set.
And I think we need to be for rest after that. And Mara Hall is going to sing a song for us. Shall my eyes ne'er see your mountains green and your pastures smooth and low? I'll gaze upon your fertile soil and your silvery winding streams. So far from home in green to roam, where from you first I strayed, I adore you, killer Kalpi, where I spent my childhood is. Shall I ever see those valleys? Wherein by her days I roam, I'll wander in the fine green woods with the 
friends I dearly love. Can I no more by luck nature ever pass the summer's day? Are here again the lark's sweet strain and the blank burns lie some lay. Shall I ever stray by the washing bay where the worthy drown he cry? I'll set my line in the evening's fine round the green shores of Mount Jai. Shall the autumn gale never fill my cell? Are the dim declining moon? See me tempest tossed on the shores of dust. Are the virgin bay of tomb? <laughs> Shall my yarn air rest on the wild west crest? I reckon see the salmon play. While sailing your from Tyrone's green shore, bound far fair entrance bay, shall I ne'er behold Shame's castle lull, or gaze on Mauserine? Shall my cot never land on the banks of the band? Corny island are of skin. Fiery old arbo of my tears to flow where I think and call to mind. Of parents dear and friends sincere and comrades true and kind. But I hope to give a new floral breath ere seven long years go round. Her hands to clasp in friendship's grasp with dear ones left behind. Now I have friends in America all the help men could desire, and their pockets filled with dollar bills, and dressed in grand attire. They would give it all for one country fall, to be again by the old Hackstone. In a cabin near sweet Loch Ness, so oh dear, my own dear Ness is home. Once in here and last, long years have passed, I'll toast the beauteous isle. That summer long, through that land of song, the star of peace may smile. May plenty bloom from the battle tomb that the shamrock yet can be grown. Green o'er my grave by Loch Ness wave near the old cross of our bone. And now we'll join the captain the accordion to play a selection of reels. And towards the end of his play, he's going to be joined by some dancers to dance the two hand reels. Take it away, Joey. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Please know for Marvin to school and she'll sing Chef Farm of Water. Oh, 
Devagan Kri Ak Meve Posta Lemovile Story Salaif Gobrodul Harabrallah Min Chinuel Kırmızı mağaz mağaza bir şeyin oraya us. Ana boyu kalın mağaza ile hiç sinir sinir bursan. Cat will dance real and her husband Jerry will play for her. Give me a big cap. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was lovely, Mary. Thanks very much. And now we'll have a song from John Hoare. He'll sing us to Taylor Ball. He never ran here for a moment till I sing you a verse of a song. Although I'm not good for composing, so I better not go too long. The best of my strings, they are broken, and others are going quite long. Should as lately I've heard it outspoken, that the best of my notes were wrong. For a dozen long years I've been shaping, singing and making things fine. Very often contrary, and pulling out every time. Sleeping in very cold places, and often out late until dawn. Sure as lately I have heard them comparing myself and the tailor bond. A pair of raw-looking sporters, nearly both one size. Very fond of the porter, should his bulging out both our eyes. All the people they know we are toppers, from drinking all night until dawn. But we will get women by jobbers, myself and the tailor bond. Sure as often I drank with this tailor, at market and fair each time. And on Sunday there was not a failure, we thought that our game was fine. He used to be acting all capers and singing some gay cons. The landlady looking for payment and cursing the tailor bond. Sure there was not a tramp in this nation, ugly, fair or fine. People are very low stations, but are pulling out every time. We drank with journeyman tailors, and every choir crump on. You think when you look at their features, they were cousins of tailor bond. Oh, now he struck on a comical bargain, myself and Dan Bond last June, to a beautiful spot in Killarney, where we will be marching soon. Till there we'll be flung the garden and turning out strikes of band, and we'll drive a spring in Kilgarvin. Myself and the tailor bond. Now I put in for Malfoli, and everyone knows she's fine. Tis often her mother she told me that her Molly would sure be mine. And if there's a son or a daughter, her fortune may favour shine. Could be easily known who's the father, myself or the tailor bond. <laughs> now when I'm in my farm, myself and my charming wife, we need be in dread of the star that's crushing us all our lives. The tailor and Jackin will go poaching and won't come home until dawn. The meat and the fish will be roasting for myself and the tailor bond. Sure by herring he was a good tailor for cutting and making fries. 
making clothes for their neighbors and telling them bare fast lies. But he turned out remedy ready, for he was a quiet crompon. But I have nothing to add to his failure, but good luck to the tailor bond. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks very much, John. He tells me there's about four verses out of that. <laughs> <laughs> and now, next for a song, we'll go to John Nehatton. For fame and for fortune, I wander the earth. But now I return to the land of my birth. I brought back my treasures, but only to find they're less than a pleasure I first left behind. For these are my mountains, and this is my glen. The days of my childhood, I'll see them again. No land ever claims me, no far did I roam, for these are my mountains, and I'm going home. The stream by the road sings, and my going by, the Lord overhead wings a welcoming cry. The lake where the trout lies, once more I will see. It's there that my heart lies, it's there I must be. For these are my mountains, and this is my glen. The days of my childhood, I'll see them again. No land ever claims me, no far did I roam, for these are my mountains, and I'm going home. Kind faces will meet me, and welcome me in, you know how they greet you back home again. This night round the fireside, those songs will be sung. The last I'll be hearing, my own mother's tongue. For these are my mountains, and this is my glen. The days of my childhood, I'll see them again. No land ever claims me, no far did I roam, for these are my mountains, and I'm going home. Oh, well, so, how are you? Go sure. Uh, you, you can, it, it, it's too bright. See, it's bright. that way. You can see it's the Right now, so. And now we have turned the camera back to front. Behind it, we have Johnny McCarthy. And in front of it, plenty of and we have the cameraman himself, Dan Joe Kellogg. <laughs> And then Joe's going to play for a military two-step. Let's see you do it. Thank you. 
Well, then you said the other way, if something doesn't lie to us, never done before. We well, put it in front of the camera. But then, Joe, you were never in Renry with the camera before. <laughs> now, we have a very special treat for you. The man of the house, our host for the evening, <laughs> Sean Vahan, is going to sing us a song. In the sweet county Limerick, one cold winter's night, sure the turf fire was burning when I first saw the light. And the drunken old midwife went tipsy with joy As she danced round the floor with her slip of a boy Singing bang in a moist nagaon And the juice of the barley for me Now when I was a garsoon of six years or more With me books and me pencil to school I did go to a dirty old schoolhouse without any door. Short as there lay the master blind drunk on the floor, singing bang and the moist nagaon and the juice of the barley for me. Now the learning I wasn't such a genius, I'm thinking. Shall I soon lay the master entirely at drinking? Not a wake or a wedding for five miles around With myself in the corner was sure to be found Singing bang and a moist nagaon And the juice of the barley for me Now one Sunday the priest read me out from the altar Saying you'll end up your days with your head in a halter and you'll dance a fine jig between heaven and hell. Sure, these words they did fright me, the truth for to tell. Singing by and the more, the gown and the juice of the barley for me. Then early next morning at dawn it did break. I went down to the vestry, the pledge for to take. But you're there in the corner, sat the priest in a bunch, round a big burning fire, drinking tumblers of punch, singing bang and a mo, the gown, and the juice of the barley for me. Now from that day to this, I have rambled alone. I'm a jack of all trades, but I'm master of none. With the sky for me roof, and the earth for me floor Shall I end up my days drinking whiskey galore Singing bang and the moist nagaon And the juice of the barley for me Thanks very much, Sean. That was lovely. Isn't he a fierce big man? <laughs> you never believe he was afraid of mice. That, that's what they tell me. But now we have another singer for you. A dear but Max Sweeney from Balavona, and he'll sing a Balavona song, St. Happy. <laughs> There's a neat and rising valley far over the hills. Balavona embracing the rock and the mills. Where the people for ages come thronging to pray for cures on wet Sundays and Saint Abby's Day. Not the veil of a book or so painted by Moore. Glen the Loch, nor Glen Gareth, nor old Glen Melour. Not the falls of Niagara, nor bright Avondale are as charming to view as this beautiful vale. It is sweet to come here when midsummer is nigh, twixt two stately mountains approaching the sky, where the strong mountain ash and the oak trees high grow, or a neat rising town that's in bosom below. And in years long ago, as our history paints, when Ireland was titled the Island of Saints, it was here that St. Abbey 
erected her shrine, where you're cured by the power of our Maker Divine. So devoutly come here and implore on your knees of the glorious saint who met soldiers of bees to grant you request and lay down each complaint with devotion and faith at the shrine of the saint. Tis a marvel to see a wit Sunday at dawn. All the tokens of cures left in old Kielabon. In the grove or the town you surprisingly find how the lame and the blind leave their tokens behind. So on the 11th of February you'll surely come here or come for your cure any day of the year. But wherever you go, beseech God above to bless Balavoon, that sweet place of love. <laughs> Taste here, that was lovely, and now we have a real set. Let's take it away. That was lovely lads, I was waiting for watching you. And now we'll have a song from Dinsey Welsh. The pale moon was rising above the green mountain. The sun was declining beneath the blue sea. When I strayed with my love to the view, crystal fountain that stands near the beautiful vale of Trally. She was lovely and fair like the roses in summer, yet it was not her beauty alone that won me. Oh no, 
was the truth in her eyes ever dawning that made me love Mary the rose of Trani the cool shade of evening her mantle was spreading and Mary all smiling sat listening to me in the moon through the valley her pale rays were shedding when I won the heart on the rose of Trelly she was lovely and fair like the roses in summer yet it was not her beauty alone that won me oh no it was the truth in her eyes ever dawning that made me I know for the second last song of the night, there's a very special request for our historian himself, Kanyar, to sing Bull of Oak. Take it away, Kanyar. At the Bull of Oak, as the sun was sinking, Round the great green meadows of a chandelier, a rebel lad set the head or blazing that I brought the neighbors from afar or near, and a far Murphy from all Kilcarmy. Rise up the rocks with a warning cry. Senor Mormon, I have come to lead you for Ireland's freedom to fight or die. He led the clans. Against the coming foreman, the cowardly yeoman, he put to flight. Twas at the harrow, the boys of Wexford showed a bogey's regiment how men could fight. Knock out for hiring. King George of England, search every kingdom that a breed a slave. For a father Murphy, from the county Wexford, sweeps o'er the land like a mighty wave. We took slave keeling. And in his car, a tub of nearing, on a bally illness, quite a many a Helm's man lay in his gore. And a father Murphy had it come over, the green flag floating, from a shore to shore, or a vinegar hill, or the pleasant slainy, or a hero manly, stood a back to back. But a yours at a law, took a father Murphy, and I burned his body upon a rag. 
God grant you glory, brave Father Murphy, and upon heaven to all your men. And the cause that called you may call tomorrow in another fight for the green again. Shall it? Good day, sorry. <laughs> and now we have our five musicians here together. Starting here, Gerald McSweeney, Mary Hall, no. Tim Joe Redden, Jeremy Cathy and John Hall. Give me a big clap. <laughs> and first of all, now they're going to play for a waltz. And we have people here who are anxious to waltz, and they're going to waltz. So we'll see you on the floor here for a waltz. In the meantime, we'll enjoy the music from our five brave musicians.
That was very nice. And now we have Declan Harrington to sing the pool song. May the Lord upon high, who rules the sky, look down on our pubs and bars. For the people therein, both women and men, are neglecting their pints and their jars. The crack, it is bad, the atmosphere sad, every man has a face like a mule. And all he can do is grab an old cue and start playing that game called pool. <laughs> now when I was a boy, t'was always my joy to visit the pub each night. I was an alcoholic. There were arguments, scraps and killings perhaps, and everyone thought he was right. There were badgers and dogs and men from the bogs and young fellas acting the fool. But now there's no chance of a tune or a dance cause everyone's playing the old pool. After milking the cow to the rural alehouse, after milking the cows, every customer made his way. And there he would dwell and drink till he'd swell while the fiddles and pipes they did play. The jigs and the reels and the rattling of heels and the polkas and slides were the rule. But now there's no chance of a tune or a dance cause everyone's playing dull pool. Now pool you will find is a game designed for foolish illiterate louts. You put in four bob and press an old knob and a big shower of balls they come out. <laughs> They're placed on the table and then if you're able to knock them all in through a hole. More money goes in, you start over again and you lose every bob of your dole. In the Irish free state all the people are bait from watching and playing this game. In their necks they have cricks which no doctor can fix. Their backs and their shoulders are ma maimed. They're rude in the manner most rude from being hoisted aloft in the air. Their eyeballs are sore and dripping in gore and they act in a manner most queer. Now if you meet a young man whose face it is one and whose eyes have a vacant stare. If his jawbone is slack, his head is thrown back, he can't tell a cob from a mare. His nostrils dilated, his head corrugated, he and do has manners of those of a fool. On your shirt you can bet that you have just met a man that's going to play in Matt and play boot. Now that almost brings us to the end of our night. Before that, I want to thank again our hosts, Sean and Eileen Vahan. I want to thank Dan Joe, our cameraman. I want to thank all those who performed tonight for making it such an enjoyable evening for all. Those who served the tea and those who made the buns and everyone who helped out in any way to make this an enjoyable and a very sociable evening. Now, to finish off, we'll have a selection of double reels from our musicians. Take it away there, lads. Good night and God bless you all. Till we see you all again.